Hi, I'm glad to see you on my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how I produced the instrumental of New Divide by Linkin Park. If you didn't watch this video, please check the link in the description and here I'm going to talk about more technical stuff, like synths and plugins that I used, like how I made different sounds, so I hope you will find this video useful and interesting. So let's go! Here is the project. I walk in Reaper, but no worries if you walk in any other workstation, because I didn't use here any specific things that you can do only in Reaper, so you can repeat it in any workstation like Ableton, Logic, Fruity Loops, so yeah, let's go. Let's take a look on the tracks that we have here. So firstly, we have drums that are blue and different shades of blue, then bass tracks that are red, guitars that are green, and other tracks like uh, synths, affixes that are different colors. Let's start with the first sound that you hear in the song. This hard tonal kick. I made it sound from sample from Kashmir library. Let's listen to it, how it sounds originally. First of all, I cut the attack of this sample to make it smoother. Then I have EQ that cut high and low frequencies. And the most important thing here is distortion. I use Decapitator. There is a lot of distortion here. And the last thing is EQ again after distortion. And now let's dive in in the iconic lead synth sound. So let's see how I made it. Firstly, I have Serum. Let's listen how it sounds. Here I use two waveforms. Uh, you can see that this one and this one. I have envelope on the wavetable position for two oscillators and also very important the envelope on the filter. A few affixes here, distortion, chorus, delay and reverb. And a very important thing here is emulation of guitar amplifier. Here I use amplifier from waves, but I think you can use any other. It doesn't make the big sense. And let's listen how it sounds with guitar amplifier. Yeah, it's a very huge difference. After some equalization and reverb. Also, in the intro, we have something like a pad sound. This is just a source to oscillator, octave down and like regular with some distortion, EQ and with the filter that it's opening and reverb. And all together. Then drums come in. Let's listen to them in solo. I have two layers of drums here. The first one is the drums that I recorded by myself. And the second one is the VST drums. I use Easy Drummer 2. And I think they work very good together, because the drums that recorded by myself gives the life in the sound, 
and the VST drums makes the sound more fatter. But a very important thing here is to perfectly synchronize two layers. You can see that there are a lot of stretch markers on the live drums. This is because if you don't synchronize them, you will have a lot of grace notes and it will sound not good. And before we have full pack of instruments, we have this sound. It gives like a lot of tension and get you excited about the transition to the next part. This is just guitar that plays one note and that is reversed. And now let's move to the part where all instruments start to play. So we have here drums. Some electronic samples to give more groove and together with our kick drums. Bass guitar that is distorted a lot, by the way. Let's listen to it without any fixes. This is the dry signal and for amplifier simulation I use MPEG. Then I have here metal pedal from Waves. EQ, compression and very important saturation and equalization again. Now let's talk about guitar sound. You can hear that guitars are not distorted a lot in this song. By the way, it's almost the clean sound, but with a little bit of overdrive. I record these guitars with my processor, Hedrush Pedalboard, but you can recreate the sound with VST plugins. You just need to use clean channel of your amplifier with overdrive, but not too much, and you will get this crunchy, clean sound. Then here we have synth sound that we have in the intro, but with open filter. lead sound and here we have new synth sound to fill the space let's listen to it in the solo I made it in C-Room it's just so waveform but it's important here to turn on port time to make these slides between the notes and some EQ here, distortion, chorus and reverb. And as an impact we have this sample and all together Now let's move to the verse there are a few things here that you might find interesting. So let's start with the drums. Here we have only electronic samples. Let's listen to them. So the first one is just sample. And this one. These sounds I made in serum with noise oscillator. Let's check the first one. I use this sound for noise with envelope on the filter and distortion. The second one 
this noise sound with also envelope on the filter and delay and reverb and the third this noise sound and it's important here to turn on pitch tracking because this part is played with different notes then we have the same bass kick like we have in the intro but now it plays different notes Then we have the synth. The pad that plays only one note to give like a little bit more atmosphere to the verse. I made it in Serum with Acid Waveform with modulation on the wavetable position and on the filter. And here are some distortion, chorus and reverb. And also quite interesting thing here is this guitar sound. So basically it's just one note that I played on the guitar and that I copy paste through the whole verse with a lot of reverb. I use this plugin and with automation on the pitch for this effect. makes it more interesting and like more atmospheric. The acoustic drums come in. And then we go to the pre-chorus. Bass guitar starts to play, and we have again this reverse guitar sound. In the chorus, we have completely the same sounds as in the intro, but without the lead sound. Then we have interlude that basically is completely the same as the intro. The second verse is very similar to the first one, but there are two new things here. Acoustic drums are added. And bass guitar. And together. Then pre-chorus and chorus that are completely the same as the previous ones. And let's move to the break section. There is something new here. So firstly we have this guitar. I'm going to play this slow for you. And to make low-fi effect, we have equalization here to cut low and high frequencies. Then the bass starts to play. 
and some synths start to play here. So here I use two samples from Kashmir library. This one and this one. And also synth that I made in Serum. I used electric guitar waveform with guitar amplifier simulation. So without it, it sounds like this. All together. Then drums start to play. And we have one more synth. It's quite simple, just these waveforms with envelope on the filter and a lot of reverb and distortion. Then goes bridge that has completely the same sounds as chorus. Then goes chorus that is very similar to the previous ones, but in the first part of this chorus drums don't play. And let's move to the outro. In the outro we have the synth sound. And here we have the piano. We don't have it in the rest of the song, so it appears only here on the outro but when I listened to the original version I heard that there are some additional low frequencies in the piano sound so piano is layered with sign to give more low frequencies and for piano I used this contact library but it's possible to use any other it doesn't make the big sense here Thank you a lot for watching this video, I really hope that you found it interesting and useful and please let me know if you have any questions. I really hope to see you again soon, bye!